Hey, we're uh, here uh, with Mac Allen, and your film was Origin Story? That's correct, yeah. Uh, how did you uh, go about coming up with uh, doing this uh, documentary idea? So Origin Story was my uh, my thesis film, um, okay. and I filmed my, my thesis during COVID. So I had to uh, kind of reinvent the wheel, do something a little different, and Ever since I was a kid, I've always loved comic books. That's been like my big thing. Um, I started going to Comic-Con when I was age nine and I still go to this day. So it's it's a huge part of my personality and who I am. And we have this awesome shop in Mad One called The Geekery that does a lot for the community. But I felt like it wasn't getting enough recognition for its own, especially during COVID when they went above and beyond for their customers and the community so i thought it was a really interesting story especially with um the brothers who run the shop they lost their father to covid so i wanted to kind of talk about not only being a small business during covid but adding the faction of being a comic book store and losing a loved one so i think it's a really important story for that reason. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you see it all the time with uh, well during COVID, everything. But comic book shops, it's 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 not easy to keep them open these days. Definitely, yeah. But uh, yeah, so um, so you did it during COVID times for your thesis. Are you all done now? I am all done with school. Yes, I got done in last May, and I've been working ever since, doing part film stuff, part. Uh, big boy job stuff so i'm just trying to i'm just trying to keep my head above water at this point yeah it's not easy so uh have you uh shown the film have you been able to show the film at any f- film festivals so far or because it um, like you see online or something like that we did a screening for uh at ithaca for the thesis but uh okay i haven't really gotten a chance to otherwise because i've just been so busy with everything else this is like the first time in months i felt like i can sit down and just breathe and (laughs) do the things i want again but Mm -hmm. i'm i'm really grateful it got accepted and i i hope i can bring not only more attention to how serious this thing still is but also how important small businesses are especially the ones who did not make it during covid you know yeah, absolutely. There's a lot, and a lot didn't, and it's 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 just real shame. But so, are they still they're still going? Uh, the comic book shop still. Yes, they did. They um they actually moved to a bigger location, which is awesome. Um, yeah. It's right down the corner. Um, they have like a whole like glass room now of like collectibles and stuff, which is amazing. Um, yeah. It was. I don't know that. I don't, I don't know where they were because uh, I I go to Madawan quite often. Um, I was trying to figure out where, where it was exactly. I used to live yeah. in Madawan, actually. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, yeah. They are kind of on the downtown area, down on Main Street. Okay. I used to live over by Big Ed's, and uh, uh, I still go to Maloney's over there. That's so still... I drive past Big Ed's every day on my way to work. <laughs> yeah, I was there for a little bit. Right uh, and then the, the old movie theater there is now a, a brewery. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I tried going to their. Um, they have movie nights sometimes. I tried yeah, going yeah. to one. They sell out so fast. It's- yeah, we did a Clerks one there one time. We did Clerks there, and we had uh, people from Clerks uh, either via online because it was still COVID, so they were like mm-hmm. via online, and we had a few people there. That's awesome. But it was- yeah, it was a lot of fun. So it's a really cool place. And at least, at least they could do something with that, with that area, with that place. So I, I used to go see movies there all the time. <laughs> I saw I saw so many movies there growing up. And I think the last movie I saw there was like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Oh, okay, yeah. And then... Yeah, so it lasted that long. So it was around until then, yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't know when they when they closed down that. And, and Eli I Bagel. Didn't either. I just... I came back from school one day and it was Gone. not open. And I was like, okay. Yeah. yeah. And Eli bagels, which is right next door. They're gone. They just went out. I just, I heard that my, my mom actually told me that. Crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
but yeah, it's such a shame, but yeah, so it's really cool to see something like this and, and kind of promote it and, and, uh, small business is a big thing. So, um, you know, I'm the, uh, if, if you ever been to Jay and Silent Bob secret stash in Red Bank, I have. Yeah. yeah so I, we do, this is, uh, for bright side, but we, I, uh, I usually, uh, work for uh, the podcasting company that they do a shared universe, which is through all them. So. Yeah, kind of, they uh, should. Um, I kind of know about that because they have a studio in Bell Works. I used to work at Bell Works. Yeah, yeah, we're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's Bell awesome. Works, and then we just moved from Eaton Town because this is Eaton Town where I live, and right next door was where we used to be. But we just moved to Red Bank. So there's a there's a studio in Red Bank and studio in, in Bell Works right now. So and then it's right That's by awesome. the comic book shop there. So uh, the 25th anniversary is coming up uh, in May. So they're gonna have a big thing here for the comic book shop. That would be, that sounds awesome. I mean, it's a good thing to cover. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to film. I'm not a big comic book guy. Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of slowed down in COVID, but when yeah. I like, I got to go to comic con last October and I was just so happy to be there, even though it was, things were a little different, you know, yeah. but I'm, I'm really happy that things are, coming back especially with uh small businesses because a lot of people who are very close to me own small businesses mm -hmm. and i've seen the the struggles they've had to go through in this past year so i encourage everyone i can um to shop small as as much as possible of course i work with like tech and cameras all day so that's a little hard yeah but <laughs> whatever i can i uh i try to buy locally and support because it's it's important you know absolutely yeah we always try to promote especially on the podcast promote all like local small businesses big thing and uh, even the even the bright side tavern where we we're going to be showing <laughs> small business man, it's just you know one little yeah. bar there uh but it'll be a lot of fun and we're excited to be live there and uh, uh saturday is going to be all students and then sunday we have a bunch of other films and we have a student award show and then the regular award show so it's uh, Two weeks away. It's kind of crazy. It comes pretty quick. So uh, have you been working on any other uh, film projects or documentaries since? I just finished editing a documentary. Um, it was my first film I worked on out of film school, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, it was a lot of footage, and I didn't know if my computer was going to survive, but yeah. it did. So I'm, I'm very lucky. Um, I'm like transferring it right now over to them as we speak. So oh. it's like, it's hot off the presses. I was, <laughs> I was away for the weekend, but I just let this sit and render. So now everything is, is going good. Um, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to get back into it. I do a lot of, I'm just a really creative person in general. So mm -hmm. And I was reached out for this project. They were like, hey, we want you to edit this documentary, but we're in Long Beach, California. And I was like, wow. oh, that's no problem. I made a whole <laughs> documentary during COVID. I, I know how to do a lot of this. <laughs> and though filming Origin Story was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. Yeah. Just because of restrictions and stuff. I'm still really proud that I got to do it because it's a story I wanted to tell for a really long time. Where did you have so much footage, so much, and it's really hard to cut it down? And, and I was just talking to someone else that did documentaries, and they said hours and hours and hours of footage, and you know, to cut it down to a short, not easy. Yeah, I I didn't edit origin story. My friend Micah did that, okay. but now I, I I understand his pain and his struggle because <laughs> I. My computer is like 500 gigabytes and my my editing file was like 300. Yeah. So it's not like I could run anything else. Like <laughs> I couldn't even, I had a Word doc open. I had to like close that. It was, it was intense, but you know, yeah. it's. I I get that. I, I'm, I, I teach film in high school and I'm, I'm always editing and we have these Macs there, uh, eight bit max when the program should be 16 bits. So oh my gosh. <laughs> not easy. <laughs> it's definitely not, especially with when it comes to upgrading max with stuff like that, 
Um, mm. I know when I had my old Mac, um, I was able to upgrade like the storage, the RAM, because I could just screw drive it open. I can't do that anymore. I have to no. go to the Apple store, mm. which I don't yeah. like doing, yeah. and physically kind of talk to them about it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I always make this joke with my, my friends that a Mac has like a five year life expectancy. Yeah. And then afterwards, it's kind of, it's like a goldfish, you know? You can't really <laughs> do anything with it after five years. You can, but it's not like it's going to do what you want it to do. No, they don't, they don't really don't last. I just had a laptop I had to send to Apple. It was not fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, they make it now where you have to send it to them. So yeah, can't fix them anymore. <laughs> like the old days, unless you get a PC, I guess. Yeah, I, I'm the only one in my office that uses a Mac. Everyone else uses oh. a PC. Oh. <laughs> so I feel like because I kind of deal with everyone else's tech problems, I don't need a PC. I just, yeah. <laughs> it's a little, I've been working on Macs for like a long time. I think it's also like a security blanket thing, you know? Yeah. You yeah. want to do what feels uh, familiar. I yeah. I was working on my, my boss's laptop the other day and it's a, it's a Windows. And I was like, I just had a lot of questions. <laughs> and so did he. So it was not the best time to ask questions i guess <laughs> i'm on a mac right now i got my uh my laptops <laughs> macbook in school we teach from Macs, so it's just the mac world right now yeah but uh, that's what you're used to so and then we have adobe uh, uh, adobe premiere that we edit from oh. so you 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 teach your students to edit on adobe premiere that's that's awesome. do yeah yeah they do and uh, i've been like killing it with them since co- like covid times it's hard to really teach film so it's yeah. like edit this edit this edit this i said at least you get out of here and know how to edit <laughs> like so i'll be killing it with when i was in high school on final cut pro and though i started using adobe for a while i think they updated it where like you couldn't edit the bit right anymore so i would have these massive like 40 gigabyte files for these 30 second clips and yeah I just wanted to like cry and sob in front of my computer, but <laughs> no, I, I eventually figured it out. It wasn't easy, but yeah, nothing, nothing in filmmaking is easy. No. And every year they upgrade, they, they update the Adobe and they just move stuff everywhere, change names. It's like, what? <laughs> like, where is this? What is this? There like deep, like some consistency. Yeah. It's always, always something different, but they do fix things that people complain and complain and complain. They do fix certain things and like, oh, this works now. Wow. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, we can't even upgrade. Like we had, uh, we wanted to upgrade the, the 2020 version of Adobe in school, but it was so powerful that we stayed with the 2019 because 2020 just like kind of blew up the computer. We couldn't do anything else. Yeah. So we're like, I said, I'm just keeping what I have. Cause that's what works. If we go to 2020, uh, you can't use these computers other than just an edit. <laughs> that must be tough, but yeah, yeah. No. Unless you get a higher, you know, b- better computers, and they're not going to do that now. You know, but that is what and it that is. That costs money, so a lot of money, a lot of money. So, yeah, some like even though you're supposed to work these programs on 16, and they're they're all eights, so it's like someone's got to buy a 16. But yeah, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, have you? Uh, are you going to put this in any other film festivals after this one? Is any other ones coming up soon? I might. I'm a. Uh... Honestly, I kind of submitted to this festival just because I wanted to. Because I, mm-hmm. I felt like more people should see this story, and yeah, I I definitely want to submit it to more. But I'm also, I don't know. I get nervous. Like my last film, I entered in like. 25, 30 festivals, and yeah. it's hard. It's not easy. Yeah. Mm. Getting rejected from, I'm not going to lie, most of them kind of really made me feel down about myself as an artist. And mm. for a while, I was like, am I, am I good enough to keep doing this? 
So I would love to, um, but right now I'm probably going to focus on strictly uh, festivals in the state yeah. because um, I don't feel super comfortable traveling anywhere. And New York is the farthest I'll I'll go, but. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's see how how people like it at the festival, and if they they enjoy it, I'll I'll see what yeah, I can do. Absolutely. Well, you know, there's um, there's, there's a lot of New Jersey, and then you know, it's a New Jersey film and New Jersey comic book shop. So, any New Jersey fest, they, they should should want to want to screen it. So, uh, definitely. I know there's a few coming up soon. So, uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah. yeah. I'm uh, excited. It's be, we're two weeks away, so hopefully, hopefully you can make it. It'll be a nice, easy Saturday. It's not. It's only student film Saturday, so it's not going to be crazy in there. And uh, uh, and then we have an award show after that. Then we have a, like a, a an opening premiere, like special uh, at nighttime. But um, that's a couple films, and we honor some people. Uh, we give a little plaques to an actor and a filmmaker. But sometimes we do that on the Sunday, but and we have a horror films at night, and we do like a horror set, but we decided to change it up a little bit. So, But, uh, you know, we have films all day Sunday in award show, but we, we separate the students' uh, fest with the other one just because in the years past, we get a lot of student films. So Yeah, I, uh, I will definitely try to make it. I'm still – hammering out my schedule, but I, I think I should be able to make it work. Awesome. 